Lando, a lot of buzz about you. Two fights in the UFC. Uh, is this easy to deal with? For me, yeah. No uh, problem. What makes you even keel? Like how, how are you able to deal with this? Just the people that are in the room with you every single day? Uh, I don't live in my head. I think that's the biggest thing. You know, People live in their head. They think about shit way too much. And uh, they end up uh, freaking out, stressing, getting anxiety, having feeling pressure. Uh, I got none of that. When you started this journey, uh, what were the goals? What were the goals to A, learn how to fight, get to the UFC, make some money, get, get to a championship level, or are, are things kind of just unfolding organically? Yeah, when, when I was uh, you know, 13, it was when I first set, started setting goals for this sport, man. I always said I wanted to be a UFC world champion, and uh, you know, that's gotten me to where I am now. Uh, a few years ago, though, I just stopped setting goals. I just go out there and have fun. There's no goals in my life, really, just passion. 13 years old, uh, what were you doing? What, what got you interested in, in this game? Watching UFC as much as I could, and then found a grappling gym, started grappling for a year and a half, got my blue belt, started wrestling, my stopped everything, crash, start talking, Robin Black, yours. <laughs> throwing Robin around, you know. Um, yeah, man, just, uh, you know, kind of just blossomed to what it is. Uh, your creativity now, I think, uh, is a bright point for anybody that's a, a fan of mixed martial arts, a fan of martial arts in general. Is it easy uh, to, to channel that creativity, to, to be loose and free inside of the cage? Is that easy for you? For me, yes, yeah. Um, I think it just comes with, with, uh, with the territory. I think everybody's capable of it, man. It's just, it's, it's all about letting go and, and building those basics and then forgetting them, you know? And, be able to create your own shit. You're, you're saying uh, don't be in your own head. Uh, has that been a, a challenge for you throughout this time from 13, learning mixed oh, martial arts? Yeah. Back, in, back in the day, yeah, I used to live in my own head all the time, you know. Um, yeah, meditation gets you out of it. When did it go away? When, when was the point where it's like, oh, I can just go live and be free and a martial artist and do my thing? Yeah, probably three or four years ago. I don't know what the turning point was, but yeah, I mean, probably around then when I just decided, you know, fuck it. Fuck what people think. It's going to do me. What are the goals when, when the cage door closes? Is it intentional to go out and be creative and, and to do the things that you do, or you just see openings, attack, and if things pan out, they pan out? I, I, just, start, I just start flowing and do whatever I want to do in there, and um, I, I, always, I always feel like I control the pace, and, and there's a few set techniques that we have in this fight, and those will be thrown at some point or another, you know, if, if it happens. And, uh, yeah, there's no, really no goal, man. Just go have fun and win. Dig fucking deep if I got it and just get that victory. What, what does a win mean? Is, is it just about the win or is it the way that you win? Is it the way that you feel after the fight? Like, what, what makes a satisfying win? Oh, I just went in satisfying enough, man. I mean, I could have the worst performance in the world and still get the victory. I'm, I'm not going to feel great about it, but it's still, it's still way better than a loss. You say that you don't set goals, but uh, clearly most athletes, they want to be comfortable in life, make as much money as they can uh, in order to get that, what, what are the things that you need to do? Just keep doing the things that you have been doing, two fights in the UFC? Wearing nice suits and putting on exciting fights and talk a little bit of shit here and there, which all three things I love to do, so. Is, is, that, uh, is that intentional? When, you, when you're playing this game and two fights in the UFC, people are already talking about you. Is that part of the strategy? Uh, because again, no, it's. No, that, that, should, that should just happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have, you always been, have you always been that way? Yeah. Outspoken? Hey, if we go into the gym, say day one when he came in here, Lando's always been nah. this way. Nah, around the gym I'm different. I'm very, very different around the gym. I'm, I'm quiet. Uh, I put my head down and I work, and I, I just focus on what I'm doing. After practice, I'll get loud with my friends and whatnot. But uh, nah, for the most part, I'm quiet around the gym. I'm a different person when I'm in there. Who do you surround yourself with outside of the gym? Like who, who's your inner circle? My buddy Nick Urso standing back over there. Um, that's the main dude I hang out with. A kid named Jordan Wright. A few other fighters from the gym, low-key dudes. Yeah, just have fun.